Hello, this is day 262 of the plan, and today I'll be reading Revelation chapter 12 through 16. So let's get started in chapter 12. The woman that, no, it's not right. Chapter 13 through 16. Okay, chapter 13. The beast from the sea. The dragon stood on the sand of the sea. And I saw a beast coming up out of the sea, and it had ten horns and seven heads. On its horns were ten crowns, and on its heads were blasphemous names. The beast I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. The dragon gave the beast his power, his throne, and great authority. None of its heads appeared to be fatally wounded, but his fatal wound was healed. The whole earth was amazed and followed the beast. They worshipped the dragon because he gave authority to the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, who is like the beast? Who is able to wage war against it? The beast was given a mouth that uttered boasts and blasphemies. It was allowed to exercise authority. For 42 months, they began to speak blasphemies against God. To blaspheme his name and his dwelling. Those who dwell in heaven and, and it was permitted to wage war against the saints and to conquer them. It was also given authority over every tribe, people, language, nation. All those who live on the earth will worship it. Everyone whose name was not written... On the foundation of the world in the book of life, the lamb who was slaughtered. If anyone has ears to hear, let them listen. If anyone is to be taken captive into captivity, he goes. If anyone was to be killed with a sword, with a sword he'd be killed. This calls for endurance and faithfulness from the saints. The beast from the earth. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, but it spoke like a dragon. It exercised all authority of the first beast on its behalf. And compels the earth to those who live on, on it to worship the first beast, whose fatal wound was healed. It also permits great signs, even causing fire to come down from heaven to earth in front of people. It deceives those who live on the earth because of the signs that is permitted to perform in the presence of the beast, telling those who live on the earth to make an image of the beast who was wounded by a sword and yet lived. It was permitted to give breath in the image of the beast, so that the image of the be beast could both speak and cause whoever did not worship the image of the beast to be killed. And it makes everyone small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on his right hand or his forehead, so that no one can buy or sell things unless he has a mark. The beast, unless he has a mark, the beast's name or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, because it is the number of a person. Its number is 666. Chapter 14. The Lamb and the 144,000. And I looked, and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him were 144,000 who had his name on, and his father's name written on his foreheads. I heard a sound from heaven like the sound of cascading waters, like the rumbling of loud thunder. Then the sound I heard was like harpists playing on their harps. They sing a new song before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. But no one could learn this song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. These are the ones who had not defiled themselves with women since they remained virgins. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They were redeemed from humanity as first fruits for God and the Lamb. No light was found in their mouths and they are all blameless. The Proclamation of Three Angels. And I saw another angel flying high overhead with the eternal gospel to announce the inhabitants of the earth to every nation, tribe, language, and people. He spoke with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory, because the hour of his judgment has come. Worship the one who has made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. And another, a second angel, followed by saying, It is fallen. Babylon the great has fallen. She made all the nations drink the wine of her sexual morality, which brings wrath. And another, a third angel, followed them and spoke with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast in his image, and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand, he will also drink the wine of God's wrath, which is poured full strength in the cup of his anger. He will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the sight of the holy angels and the sight of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment will go up forever and ever. There is no rest, day or night, for those who worship beasts in its image, or anyone who receives the mark of its name. This calls for endurance from the saints who keep God's commands and their faith in Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, so they will rest from their labors since their work follows them. Since their works follow them. 
reaping the earth's harvest. And I looked, and there was a white cloud, and like the Son of Man, I was seated on the cloud, with a golden crown on his head, and a sharp sickle in his hand. Another angel came out of the temple, crying out in a loud voice to the one who was seated on the cloud. Use your sickle and reap, for the time to reap has come, since the harvest of the earth is ripe. So the one seated on the cloud swung a sickle over the earth, and the whole and the earth was harvested. Another angel, who also had a sharp sickle, came out of the temple and said, and it came out of, of the temple in heaven. Yet another angel who had authority over fire came from the altar, and he called out with a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, Use your sharp sickle to gather clusters of grapes from the vineyard of the earth, because its grapes have ripened. So the angel swung a sickle at the earth and gathered the grapes of the vineyard uh, of the earth, and he threw them into the great wine press of God's wrath. Then the press was trampled outside the city, and blood flowed out from the press up to the horse's bridles for about 180 miles. That's that's all for the first two chapters, and so I'm going to check and make sure I really am recording. Okay, I really am recording. Just wanted to double check halfway through, and so there's a little intermission. Anyways, I'm going to get back started in chapter 15. Preparation for the for the bold judgments. Then I saw another great and all inspired sign in heaven, seven angels of seven last plagues, for with them God's wrath will be completed. Also something like a sea of glass makes a fire, and those who have won the victory over the beast, its image, and the number of its name, were standing on a sea of glass at heart from God. They sang the song of God's servant Moses and the song of the Lamb. Great and all inspiring your works, Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations, Lord of the people. We will not fear and glorify your name. For you alone are holy. All the nations will come and worship before you, because your righteous acts have been revealed. After this, I looked in the heavenly temple. The tabernacle of the testimony was open. Out of the temple came the seven angels and the seven plagues, dressed in pure, bright linen, with gold sashes wrapped around their chests. One of the four living creatures gave the seven angels seven golden bowls filled with the wrath of God who lives forever and ever. Then the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and his power. No one could enter the temple until the seven plagues of the seven angels are completed. Chapter 16 The First Bowl Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. The first one to them poured out his bowl on the earth, and, uh, and severely painful sores broke on the people who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped its image. The second bowl, the second poured out his bowl into the sea. It turned like to blood, that of a dead person, and all life in the sea died. The third bowl, the third poured out his bowl into the rivers and springs wa of water, and they became blood. I heard the angel of the water say, "You are just the holy one who what." who is and who was, as you have passed judgment on these things. But as they poured out the blood of the saints and the prophets, you have given them blood to drink. They deserve it. I heard the altar say, Yes, Lord God, the Almighty, true and just are your, are your judges. The fourth bowl. The fourth bowl. The fourth poured out his bowl in the sun, and it was allowed to scorch people with fire. And people were scorched with the intense heat, so they blasphemed the name of the God who has power over these plagues and they did not repent and give him glory. The fifth bowl. The fifth bowl poured out his bowl on the throne of the, of the beast and the kingdom was plunged in darkness. People gnawed their tongues because of their pain and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores for they did not repent of their works. The sixth bowl. The sixth poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates and its water was dried up to prepare for the way of the kings from the east. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs coming from the dragon's mouth, from the beast's mouth, and from the mouth of the false prophets. For they are demonic spirits, performing signs who travel the kings of the whole world to assemble them for the battle of the great day of God, the Almighty. Look, I'm coming like a thief. Blessed is the one who is alert and remains clothed, so that he may not go around naked and people see his shame. So they assemble the kings of the place called in Hebrew, Armageddon. The seventh bowl. And the seventh bowl poured out his bowl into all, all into the air, and a loud voice came from the temple, from the throne, saying, "It's done." There are flashes of lightning, rumbling, and peals 
a thunder and a severe earthquake occur like no other since people have been on the earth. So great was the earthquake that the great cities split into three parts and the cities of the nations fell. Babylon the Great was remembered in God's presence. He gave her the cup filled with the wine of fierce anger. Every island fled, the mountains disappeared, enormous hailstones, each weighing about a hundred pounds, fell from the sky on the people. And they blasphemed God for the plague of hail because the plague was extremely severe. That's all for today, which means I have six chapters left before I'm finished. Anyways, hope you've had a great day so far. Have a great day. And God loves you. And goodbye.